So I'm having a chat with Carsec. How are you guys? Yeah, yeah, really good, man. Really good. Yeah, really good. yeah not too bad. You're here at Truck Festival. How much have you seen of it so far? And uh, looking forward to later. Uh, we got here yesterday. Uh, a lot of our friends are here, so we've just been partying with them. We watched. Who did we watch last night? Last night we saw the Wombats, and they were great. Yeah, they killed it. Um, other than that, I think I've just been drinking at the campsite. Really, <laughs> we're like mega hungover today, but feeling good, feeling yeah. excited, man. Good, yeah. good. And uh, a few weeks ago now, you released your debut EP. Tell us a little bit about the EP for those who haven't heard it yet. Yeah, so uh, the EP is kind of a combination of songs that we've been sat on for about two years now, um, and uh, we kind of just tried to put in as many, tried to convey as many emotions as we can within the shortest amount of time possible. So we kind of start off by making you want to, you know, punch a giraffe or something, and by the end you're crying your eyes out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really gassed that it's finally out and people can hear it. Yeah, yeah, good, good. And uh, when it comes to the writing side of things for you guys, how do tracks tend to start off? Do they start with a, a lyric, a melody, a riff? What, what works for you? Well, like, usually my brother will have an instrument already recorded, and, um, like, I might have some, the time, but he'll come to me with the instrument and he's like, bro, can you make this a hit? So I'm like, I got you, man, and I'll lay some lyrics and down. he ruins the song. <laughs> and yeah. Get better again. <laughs> Yeah, but no, it's kind of like a team effort. We all chip in with lyrics, like just bits, bits of And Tom writes all his own drum parts and stuff like that. So it's all of us, yeah. like it, we share the workload, yeah. sort of. Good. Thing. And how easy is it to add the lyrics into the the, the, the track that you've made? Basically, I, I think it depends on like what the starting point is. Ninety percent of the time, the starting point is the instrumental, and then you kind of have to kind of think of a hook that goes over it. But then sometimes it might start with like a melody. And then I'll think I'll try and write a chord around that melody, and then it, it kind of just depends on what the starting point is. But yeah, I mean, a lot of the time I feel like once you get a good beat down, you kind of write the lyrics around the drums. I heard that from Dave Grohl, and I was like, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Like writing the, the song around yeah. the drums, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, actually, this is going to be pretty easy to get like a verse down, and then. Then get he's only saying it. that though because he's a drummer himself. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, it's fucking Dave Grohl. I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not comparing myself to Dave Grohl. You are. You yes, are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, it's good though because, like, obviously, being in a band with my brother, we don't like dance around. If we write something's bad, if he writes something that's bad, I'll be like, bro, that sucks, and like he'll do the same thing. There's no like dancing around it, so yeah. Just try and try and write the best songs we can, really. And do you think you'll continue to write in that way, or do you think you'll try other methods to see what works for you guys? Uh, I think. I think for the most part we'll continue in that way, but I'm always open to trying other methods, you know. Um, I kind of just, yeah, like sometimes when you've been writing for a while and then you think kind of sometimes you hit a writer's block and you have to try something different. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just it's whatever works, really. Yeah, 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 yeah good. And uh, you've had the chance to be out on tour and you've been doing a load of dates over the last few months. How's the touring side been for you guys? Yeah, really good. I feel like we've played more shows like just this year than we have like since we started yeah so like it was a big learning curve for us because we'd only done like smaller tours before but now we're like going on bigger and bigger ones with sort of learning how to like not get too drunk afterwards and like so we've got to be ready for the next day <laughs> i say that hungover right now but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you'll you'll continue wanting to be out on the roads where can people see you after this weekend what's the plan so we are at the end of this year september uh and october uh we are going all over the place all over the uk we're sort of just zigzagging our way down from top to bottom and then uh we're also doing a bit of europe but you know we're talking like what london Bristol. Yeah, so we're starting up north, like Glasgow, Edinburgh, um, and then Liverpool, heading down, and then we've got like Bristol, London. It's like, it's like 30 dates, I think. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, it'll be really fun. And, like, we've never played Europe before. We're playing Left of the Dial in Rotterdam, and also Genk, is Genk. it? Genk. In Belgium. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, good. And as you guys are a fairly new band, I'd like to know, what, what made you guys do this in the first place? Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, like me just wanting to do music? Yeah, really? yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it's all, all all I've kind of ever wanted to do, and same with my brother, like, yeah, I, I mean, mean, like... It, it kind of just looks pretty fucking cool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been in bands together before, but this time when we started this, it was like, let's take it seriously, and like, it's going all right, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you must have aspirations of things you want to achieve. What What's one thing that you do have to do? As he headline Glastonbury, 100%. Yeah, uh, uh, like, clip this part when I say this now, and then when we're doing it, be like, they, they said it, they yeah, said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. headline Glastonbury, and um, 
God. I think that's pretty much the big one, really, isn't it? Headline glass. We'll, we'll break up after we do that, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I give it six, five or six years from now. I give it two years, man. Fuck off. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been great having a chat with you. Yeah, and you, mate. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.